Well, hello, we're back again, uh, and now we're going to fit the front apron. This is the front apron, already made to suit the width of the chimney and indeed the pitch of the roof. We put it in place and then slide it up, always slide up from the bottom, never from here, or you'll get a gap behind the lead. You need something now to keep this in place. And what I'm going to show you is how to put the straps on to stop this sliding down the roof. Get yourself a piece of lead. Doesn't have to be new. It might be any, any old pieces you've got laying about. Two inches, 50 mil. Put yourself a line. Two lines. Now you can either cut it using a Stanley knife. Always keep your hand away from the knife. Cut to the line. You use a straight edge, whatever you want. Cut the strap off. Well, I've scored it with a knife, a different method. There you have your straps. Now all we're going to do is fit the straps. Come in about four or five inches. Put yourself a little line. Same the other side. So you know roughly where you are. You're going to put some slates on here in a moment. So it's best to put them in like that. Right, now we're going to fit the slates. It's been cut to length. And what we're doing is just fitting them in position. And that's it. The front apron now is ready to fit. But before you fit it, you might find it's a bit bent in transit or whatever. But find yourself a flat area and dresses nice and neat. I'm using an old wooden dresser here. Um, I like the plastic ones best, but the dogs run off with it and I've got to retrieve it in a few minutes. I'll get everything looking spick and span before you start. Okay, we're now going to fit the front apron. There it is, reasonably square, straight. Put it in position. Like I said before, always use from the bottom. Push it up hard. Right at doing that. Bend your clips down. Pat and off. And then when you fit the apron, put it on there. Push it up from the bottom. A couple of times. You're on. Just to hold it in position, turn the clips. Now on large sheets of lead, you need to leave a gap under this clip for expansion. But in this particular case, all it's doing is holding that in position. Now, the clips can be trimmed. You want to trim them about an inch, 30 mil up the roof. Get yourself something to mark them with. So you get them both the same. Take your snips. Cut them off if you want to make them look a little bit special. Take the corners off. And that's the front apron fitted. Some of you might like to apply patination oil. If it's raining, um, it's not such a good idea. This tray that we put in earlier is the weathering to the top of this front apron. And once we start putting these soakers in, we're going to dress this down to finish the front. 